kind of everything like kind of sort of uh, uh, the Japanese government were going to make investment in Africa, but uh, you know, nothing happened. You know? Right. They consider for the high speed rail. Oh my God! They should not do that. Right. I think like in countries like 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 China. What what is your what is your feeling? Uh, oh, China is uh, this is very simple. They try to invest a lot of investment and encourage African people to 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 doing that kind of investment. And they don't care about. They cannot. They they are debt. You know and exactly. keep going and they try to get money and if you can pay back and you, you can you you have mine or you have some yeah. you know agricultural field why don't you give to chinese china, china? it's so you know the simple exactly they are exactly. they are so they pure capitalism you know capitalism so okay the, money uh, that's that's the i think that's one of the one of the issues in Africa, uh, and, and I 100% I agree with you, it, it actually Western countries and people who have money, they don't care if the debts are being not being repaid, actually it's yeah. almost by design. Yeah. Yeah. They help them to rebuild the country, but actually, usually that is to build up an infrastructure that they can use to take out their um, their natural resources like uh, gold and oil and whatever. So the, the infrastructure is there. The country can no longer repay the debt, and then they can actually start to take that oil out, mm. uh, and and uh, and and they can only take ownership of the oil. So basically, they provide them with loans, mm. and then they use that money to build an infrastructure. And when the infrastructure is there, they can take out all the natural resources for free. Mm. It's terrible. Mm. Right. So also still European country they have uh, asset for their past investment like France. So they got a lot of money from Africa, right? Yes. Yeah. This is a remnant of uh, colonialism still exists there. Yeah. And uh, this yeah. is one exception is Japan. Japanese they are not intentionally you know sought okay uh, for investment. They uh, so. Right. But but they do not know how to help problem. <laughs> how to help? They're going to any country ask them to invest something, and the Japanese government follow them. But this is stupid. They should know what is uh, insufficient, you know, uh, uh, issue in Africa. In Africa is they they have heavy scarce resource of human uh, human people, human resources, especially for the government planning or uh, how to handle investment supervise supervision none okay yeah, so we need to we, uh, japanese we can help them how to do that but unfortunately the japanese government or uh, or specific pro i can't say specific project but almost all project no response they don't have any accountability or responsibility this is a problem right. But the, 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 there's also a matter of uh, of uh, grand strategy. Yeah? Uh, I think yeah, that uh, yeah, um, right. maybe there is a. Um, you mean uh, grand like strategy France. or Japanese or grand strategy in Africa? Or Ab right. Africa? No, the, the, the grand, grand strategy of of uh, uh, China and France versus the grand strategy of uh, of Japan. I think Japan has a tendency. Um, to correct me if I'm wrong, but they have a tendency to focus on the project. So the project needs to succeed. But what I said before about, for example, countries like France and China, they invest not with the project to succeed, but to ultimately to take over the entire country. Um, they, they, they don't mind. Actually, they already know that the project is going to fail. But actually, by making the project fail, in the longer run, they can take control over the entire natural resources of that country. So they make them completely dependent on on their money and on the loans that they provided because they can never pay them back. They already know that, but they they don't want the project to succeed. They want to have access to the natural resources. So the grand strategy is evil, but it's a it's a it's a much <laughs> uh, it's a much bigger uh, scheme 
than uh, than what the Japanese usually engage in. Um, what's the problem? How to solve it? <laughs> well, no, I don't think it's a problem. I think I, I think that it, uh, there is a. Uh, it is it is very bad uh, that uh, that uh, Western powers or Chinese or whoever has money who's investing in in Africa is abusing the fact that these countries uh, are still in development and weak weakened by colonialism and they don't have the uh, the education level and they have the needs to get to get money and they, they, they are short term thinkers. Uh, and why are they short-term thinkers, by the way? That is because um, this, the future is very uncertain. Uh, they have experienced colonialism for a very long time. They know that life can change, that there can be a drought or uh, there can be uh, uh, another economic collapse because of hyperinflation or mismanagement. Um, so these countries are, are, are not stable yet, and uh, we know that. And we can, we can, but we also know that they have potential. So if, if only we would have direct access to it. So what you see is that by giving them loans, by by making them dependent upon us, we can mm. ultimately take over the country. So it's happening in Nigeria with Shell, for example, and there are other examples like uh, uh, you know uh, Iran, uh, Pahlavi, the, the 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 king who. Uh, uh, who collaborated with uh, British Petroleum? Um, basically, Iran was owned by British Petroleum. Mm. Um, so this is a, this is a, this is a terrible situation. So uh, what is wrong is that uh, basically we uh, companies, private enterprises, are playing geopolitical games. Mm. So, uh, I uh, also so that, I studied Africa a lot, and uh, I find that a lot of issues and uh, lots of problems, you know. And uh, my aspect is Japanese aspect. What kind of what kind of help to Africa? But uh, it's very big obstacles, barriers. Almost impossible, right. but they have uh, some is, success stories. They have, but uh, there, is, there are so many ways to do it wrong um, that, yeah, I, I think that the, the uh, maybe I'm repeating myself, but the, I exp I experienced one one project, one project that was very successful. Uh, no, two two successful projects. Uh, one project was uh, AIDS education in uh, Uganda. Uh, actually, completely different from um, uh, Kenya and uh, uh, from other countries that I visited. In Uganda, there was a very big awareness uh, of HIV and AIDS, and uh, there were uh, uh, like condoms were widely available. And people were uh, have been educated everywhere in the villages, uh, even in the most remote areas. People were aware of the problem and of the dangers. Uh, so uh, actually, um, Uganda had a big HIV problem, but uh, uh, they were actually getting it under control because of this education. So that was a very successful project. And there was another one. There was a very small project uh, that was uh, in um, in. Um, Malawi. Uh, I got stranded in Malawi. My bike got stuck, and I and I was invited to stay in somebody's house. 